Hello and welcome! This is an informative video that gives some tips for this battle against Fantina. Or um, it would be if it wasn't so easily swept by certain Pokémon. This is more of a how to sweep video than a proper guide. So I'll show you what I have found. At this point in the game you get access to the TM of Swords Dance, which is a huge game changer if you ask me. My first sweep is with Feraligator, who has gained the dark typing in this ROM hack, so I immediately combined this with Swords Dance to make it an amazing sweeper. It now has tap on crunch, so nothing survives after gaining 4 boosts in attack. The second sweeper is Surviper, who is also part Dark type now. It has Swords Dance to set up, but it's actually not necessary. I prefer to use Glare to cripple the opponents, since they always like to use a support move over an attack. Meanwhile, I get potentially more turns to heal with Shell Bell. If Surviper gets burnt, it has a chance to heal with Shedskin, so there's no need for a berry. Final sweep is a fun one. It's a bit tricky to sweep with by barrel because you can get unlucky with the air slash flinches or just because you missed that one shot. By barrel's ability is simple, which doubles any stat increases. This means that two swords dances are enough to max out my attack. I put Aqua Jet and Crunch as my two attacking moves for this fight. Aqua Jet sometimes won't kill, so that's where Crunch comes into play. I will get outsped most of the time and take a hit if I use Crunch, so this sweep is a little RNG dependent.
Well, if you liked these easy strategies, be sure to let me know in the comments or by liking the video. If you want to see more videos like these or guides of other content in Pokemon ROM hacks, then it's only logical to hit that subscribe button. The Renegade Platinum videos take a while to record and research, but there is more on the way until I finish this game. Thank you for watching and until the next video where I will face our rival Barry again. Goodbye.